Hi there, YouTubers. My name is Vicki, and this is my very first YouTube video. Let me tell you how I ended up here. My adult son bought me a Blu-ray DVD player that's Wi-Fi ready for Christmas. Well, I figured, oh, that'll be nice. I'll watch my movies in there, and it'll have a really good picture. But what I didn't know is that this Blu-ray player would soon be one of my biggest addictions ever. Somehow I stumbled onto YouTube on my TV. That's right. If you didn't know this already, if you have a Blu-ray DVD player that is Wi-Fi ready, you can watch your DV your YouTube videos on your TV. Now, I've watched YouTube before, but I'd get on and look something up, do a little browsing, and I'd maybe be on there for 20 minutes. Now, we may as well get rid of cable TV as long as I can get on YouTube. I have watched everything from old Yogi Bear cartoons to scrapbooking techniques, doodle techniques, how to emboss, uh, Tim Holtz videos, Anna Griffin, uh, CHA videos. Oh my gosh, for a person who has any kind of hobby, you've got to have a Blu-ray player that hooks up to YouTube. Now, I have probably been scrapbooking for about five, six years. I actually, the first scrapbook I ever made was when I was eight years old. But when we found out that I was going to be a grandma a few years ago, I started to scrapbook again heavily. I've always loved paper and pens and markers and crayons, even as a kid. When my grandma would take me to the store and let me pick out something, a toy, I would pick pens and paper to draw on. So it would only figure that now in my, as I reach 50, and, and I'm 50 now, but I started this obsession, like I said, about five years ago. It would only figure at 44, 45 years old. If I scrapbook, that would allow me to cut construction paper up and color with markers and paint. The problem is, sometimes I wonder if I don't like shopping for scrapbooking stuff a bit more than the actual scrapbooking. Or if I don't like looking at the scrapbooking magazines or TV shows more than the actual scrapbooking because I do that a lot more than I actually do the physical scrapbooking anyway I always feel like my layouts just there's always something missing um I watch all the tutorials and I read the books but I don't know Maybe I'm being hard on myself, but what I'm going to eventually do is take some videos of my layouts, and I hope that somebody somewhere will watch my videos and eventually critique me on my work. But since this is my first video, what better way to kick things off than with a haul? Now... Do you see what's in the frame right there? Cuddle bug. I have wanted one of these for a couple of years. I'm a big HSN shopper. And I think HSN's price is like $80 to $90. And I got my cuddle bug yesterday at Michael's. And ladies and gentlemen, they are on sale the rest of this week for 40% off. Now, you know they never have Provocraft on sale. 
I never see it. So, of course, I had to grab my cuddle bug. Now, you can't buy a cuddle bug without getting embossing folders. I got the oh, Divine Swirl. I hope you can see that. And I'm sure I'll get better videotaping as time goes along. I hope I don't make anybody seasick. This isn't this cute. Spots and dots. Isn't that going to be cute? Now, I'm a mom of one 27-year-old son and a grandma of a 4-year-old boy. I don't have any girls. So that's going to be really cute. That uh, spots and dots for cars and trains. It almost looks like little wheels. Now this is birds and swirls. That's pretty. I'll definitely have to use that on, I guess, pictures of myself or other girls and women from my family. My extended family. Now this is tiny bubbles. And I just can't wait. We have a pool in the backyard and we spend a lot of time around that pool in the summer. And that's just going to look great. The cuddle bug embossing folders were not on sale. Now, I've seen a lot of the YouTube uh, scrapbookers using the Craft Stick by Scotch. I seem to have a problem. That was not on sale, by the way. I seem to have a problem with my pages get kind of buckled or wavy. And I do use wet glues sometimes. So, I'm, I'm, you know, that roll-on adhesive is expensive. So I try to cut back and use some of the wet glues here and there. But I think I might have to do away with that. Now, here is one of my favorite brands of double-stick adhesive. It's the Duck brand. And Joann's actually had the four-pack, as you can see, I already broke into it, had the four-pack for 40% off. And I think that put it at about 5 or $6 for four adhesive rollers. Again, I don't know about anybody else, and maybe it's something that I'm doing. But so many times I'll use a double-sided adhesive and roll it a couple of times, and it breaks on me. So if anybody has any tips on what to do about that, please share. And isn't this cute? This is by Studio G, and it's it looks like stickles. It's just a glitter glue, but it has a nice point on top. I like something that I can write with, a real narrow point. And it was just the prettiest color of yellow. One dollar. And I got some blue. That's pretty, pretty blue. Now that'll look good in the summer. And lately, I have been very attracted to things that are peach and orange. So I think this one's going to look great. This orange on, uh, I've been thinking I want to do a bird layout or not I don't have birds so I'll use bird paper and it's got to be orange I've got that in my head so now here I, you know I like this stuff and again I found it by the comments from my youtubers um, it's the scotch quick dry adhesive now this is a little on the expensive side if you ask me this bottle right here it's a two ounce bottle and it goes for about five to seven dollars. I've paid as low as $5.99 and as high as seven dollars online. But it is good and let me tell you, it is quick dry. Don't play around once you get that on because it'll dry up on you. And this is the uh, Ink Essentials blending tool 
by Tim Holtz and Ranger Industries. You know, I, I remember seeing Tim Holtz years ago, and I just loved his style. What he can do with an ink pad and a piece of paper is amazing. I saw him with D. Gruning, and I just loved the both of them. And I saw him on TV. I think it was on Sandy Genovese or... Uh, Gosh, one of the TV shows, but just took an instant liking to both of them and love their styles. So anyway, this wasn't on sale. It it runs right around five dollars. I figure it's a heck of an investment for that. So I got my ink blending tool. Now here's my stamp. There's my stamp for my little birdie pages, my orange and peach bird pages. Um, a dollar for that out of the bins at Michael's. Now, I hope that you can see the true colors on these Prima flowers. I am working right now on my Christmas pages. Here it is February and I'm still working on Christmas, but these are going to be gorgeous. Look at the glitter. Can you, I hope that's showing up. Oh yeah, there's a sparkle. Prima Flowers, Little Tin, $3.95, was $9.95, marked down. Since we're on Prima, let's stay on Prima. Look at these pretty green flowers. Polka dot, green and white, white and green. Uh, iced, got flowers, $3.95, marked down. You know, what? what is it about Prima Flowers, do you think? Sometimes I wonder if it's just not the jars and the containers they come in. You can't throw them away. They're just too cute. Now, here's some, uh, just some simple uh, Brilliance Moonlight White uh, ink pad. And some stays on. You know, I'm almost out of time here, and I know that YouTube makes us stick to about 10 minutes, and I don't want to get on their bad side my first time out. So, I'm going to wind this up here, but if you enjoyed this, look for part two. I'll be back soon, and thank you so much for watching my very first YouTube video.